The time is 17 minutes to eight. Now then, was one of your New Year's resolutions to lose weight so far? Have you, how well have you done? Well, in January, we met Mark and Chris, who between them weighed 56 stone. They were desperate to shed the pounds, so we enlisted the help of Mr. Paul McKenna. And nine months on, they have lost an incredible amount of weight. Let's see how their lives have changed. If I don't do something with my weight very soon, then I'm not going to see any of my children much longer. I feel quite incapable. I almost feel disabled by, by the way I am. I feel my life has changed completely. I feel fit and healthy. The best I've felt in, it must be at least a dozen years. Because of my size, I, I, I almost felt like I, had, I wasn't entitled to eat things that I enjoyed. But since I've started the system, there's no guilt there. I enjoy my food, um, so if I'm hungry, I'll eat when I'm full of stuff. Emotionally, I feel a lot stronger as a person and more positive. In the long run, I think that'll benefit not just me, but it'll benefit my family as well. I'm just really, really proud of him. I mean, like, compared to last year, when he just couldn't be bothered to do anything. I feel brilliant in myself now. Look forward to the future. And my kids have got their dad back now. I'm at ease with food now, where before I used to get such a buzz out of the food. But instead of having massive, massive amounts, it's just small portions of what I fancy, when I fancy. I do a lot of cardio work at my local gym uh, and I really enjoy it. My friends have noticed a massive difference. They call me Slim now, that's my new name. It's brilliant. Um, you know, he's like a changed man. I've lost uh, six and a half stone since January. I've lost nine stone, eight pounds, and I feel absolutely fantastic. They look great as well, don't they? They look they fantastic. Look Big smiles on their faces. Well, of course, they've lost all that weight, so none of their clothes fit them anymore, so we decided to treat them. And we got a stylist, Sarah Tankle, to surprise Chris and Mark. I wish them off for a little fashion makeover to complement their trimmer figures. I wonder uh, how they felt about that. They don't look like the sort of lads that would necessarily be up <laughs> for a fashion makeover. You never know. I don't know. <laughs> the fact is, Sarah's gorgeous, so they probably enjoyed that anyway. Uh, let's have a look at the results. Uh, let's remind ourselves. There they go. There's the boys beforehand. That was before Sarah's makeover. And <laughs> uh, let's have a look at them now. Here they are. Oh, look at that. Mark and Chris looking sure. absolutely sensational. Oh, sure. So let's just remind ourselves. So Mark, if you step forward, we can have a look at you before and after. That's how you were looking. Uh, you have managed to lose six and a half stone. You've dropped from a 52 inch trouser size to 42, which is extraordinary. Come and join us on the sofa. And Chris, if you step forward, we can have a quick look at you as well. This is how you looked beforehand. Extraordinary. And you've managed to lose, well, it says nine and a half stone here from a 62 inch waist to a 42 inch waist. But I think you might have lost a bit more weight since then. Just a little bit. How much more have you lost? Uh, I've now lost 10 stone five pounds. Crikey, well come and have a sit down as well. Uh, first of all, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. It's absolutely uh, sensational results. And, and you can just tell by the look on your face. Both of you have got big smiles on your face. You're obviously very proud of what you've managed to achieve. We've actually got a garment. Whose is this shirt? Uh, that's my shirt. That this was one of yet. your shirts. Which, when I picked up, I thought that's not that bad, but actually, it's more like a tablecloth, isn't it? It is, <laughs> than a shirt. That's extraordinary. This, is, this, was, this was one of your shirts when you, when it you was, were yeah. at the, the, the peak of, of your January work. this year, I wore that shirt for uh, New Year's Eve. How did you feel at the time? Did you feel awful in yourself when you were wearing that? You do, deep down, yeah, but you try and put the brave <laughs> face on, but deep down, you're really unhappy. But those days are gone now. Too hard. What, what do you think has been the biggest factor in, in, in you actually managing to, to achieve um, this so far? The biggest factor is I'm in control around food. Food's not controlling me anymore. Um, I'm, I'm at ease around food. Um, and I've just got a good, good general outlook now in life generally. It's, it's good. Everything's good. And, and, and obviously, Chris, you, you've lost an extraordinary amount of weight. I mean, ten and a half stone nearly mm. that you've lost. Yeah. Um, you must be over the moon. You have in the past got down to 14 stone, didn't yeah. you? You've, yeah. you've lost an awful lot of weight, but you put that on. Yeah. Why are you going to keep it off this time? Because it's nothing like what I did originally. When I did it originally, it took me 14 months to lose 11 stones. Uh, and I, I did it just by starving myself. I was cycling up to about 30 miles a day. And uh, it, was, it was torture. But this time, I just feel relaxed. Um, I don't have to think about eating. It just all feels very natural. So uh, do you think you could have done it without Paul and Paul McKenna's no. advice? No, without a doubt. There's no way I could have done this without this system. And to be honest with you, I was just starting to look into surgery because I was at the point where I just thought, I can't carry on like this. I felt so unwell in myself. I thought the only solution was to go and have yeah. surgery. 
And from your point of view, Mark, what, what, how important has um, Paul McKenna been? Um, it, it's been the golden pin in, in everything that we've done, Paul McKenna. You, you can always uh, relate back by his uh, CDs and DVDs to what he's taught us if you're having a bad day. Um, it's just phenomenal. And the biggest, the biggest issue for me now is that I think my family's got the dad back, and that's... That's mm. the main part for me. My kids have got a dad again now. Which is so special, isn't it? Well, look, yeah. we wanted to congratulate you, but there's somebody else who's very keen to congratulate you. Uh, he's away at the moment, uh, but he joins us now. Uh, Mr McKenna, good morning. Good morning. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to see your success story. When I hear what, what you just said, it reminds me why I, I started helping people to lose weight. And it's not only that you've lost weight, but your lives have changed for the better as well. So I, I applaud you. I, I, I thank you so much for the kind things you've said and for also all the hope and inspiration you're going to give other people. Because a lot of people, when they try and lose weight, you know, they give up and they think it's their fault. They think that they've got no willpower and that they, you know, they're going to be overweight all their lives. And it's a shining example to see how well you've done. Absolutely. That's one of the great things is, that is anybody sitting at home can see how, how well you've managed to achieve. Um, Paul, we don't have much time, but if you just run us through, because I'm sure there'll be people watching going, how on earth they've done it. What are your four golden rules? OK, well, firstly, never diet. Diets are the enemy of weight loss. Um, what you've got to do is when you're when you're truly hungry, go eat. Uh, eat what you want, not what you think you should, because uh, as soon as you make a food forbidden, it becomes very attractive. Um, but what you have to do, and this is the kernel of the system, is eat consciously. Uh, instead of shoveling the food in really fast, you need to put the knife and fork down, chew it very slowly, and then when you think you're full, stop eating. Um, now, I know this sounds too simple to be true, uh, but you know, you'll know you find on the, on the GMTV website, we've actually explained it uh, in, in a little bit more of a longer form. But it's a very straightforward system. It doesn't work for everyone, but it works for most people most of the time. It has the highest success rate in the world. Clearly, and the, and the boys here are testament to that. Just briefly, uh, um, Paul, fear, and nerves and fear. We've got someone sitting next to me that needs to cope with that tomorrow night. Any advice you can give Kate on her big debut on Strictly Come Dancing? <laughs> Kate, uh, the nation are behind you. Uh, before you go on the stage, what I want you to do is think about uh, a perfect performance. You know, remember when you've done it absolutely perfectly and run it through in your mind again and again, like an athlete does, and then, and then step out on the stage and remember, the nation's cheering you on. Great advice, Paul. The only problem is I can't actually remember when I've done it well. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to do it perfectly to imagine that. Yeah. I'm sure she will. Thank you very Good much advice, for joining Paul. us. Thanks very much. I don't know how busy you are. Thank you very much. And, and, and guys, thank you very thanks much for coming in. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Cheers. Uh, and let us know how you're getting on as well. well but, but thanks, thanks for for the future. Now, coming up in half an hour, the one and only Sir Ben Kingsley. Oscar-winning star he is, of course. And he's joining us on the sofa to talk about his latest blockbuster. And Claire King's going to be here to help us celebrate 35 years of Emmerdale. See you in a bit. Stop me, oh, oh, stop 